Hi, this is Marvin. In this episode, I'm going to show you how videos can overlay each other. In other words, how actions take place dramatically within a single video. Get ready with your imported video and audio files that are displayed on the left screen of your Filmora video editor. If you have these files, you can now overlay first your video, which means a video is placed on top of another or under another. Choose the video you want to overlay and drag it to the timeline. So in this second frame, videos were dragged down to the timeline. Two layers of video files can be seen. When the overlay parts are in their appropriate places, drag also the audio file in the timeline. So as you can see, the layers of the files were arranged in the timeline. Then click the blue portion of the lower video or the blue line of the video above it. Apply this step to all the videos, especially if they are made of many files. If you do, compositing appears. Once you click the blue line, a frame appears on screen with compositing. Click and place a check mark before compositing. This will instruct you further. In compositing, options appear. In here you see normal. Click that normal for further options as indicated by the arrow. Click multiply and you will see the changes of the video images on the right screen. Adjust it to create a more visible effect of the overlay process, then click OK. To test the effect of the video and how it looks like, click the play indicated by the arrow. Go to the lowest level where your audio is located. Adjust the entry and exit volume of music by locating a white button of it that can be moved towards the music layer in the case of the entry and can be moved back towards the audio in the case of music exit. These buttons are found in both edges of the audio file. Take a look at the arrows indicating this step. If the audio file is longer, than the length of the video, trim it. See how long the music we use is. The red vertical bar in the timeline indicates the boundary, so you need to click that portion beyond that red bar to trim its excess. To trim, click the scissor icon. Click that excess length beyond the bar and cut or split before deleting. This time, Play what you have made. Now let's try what we have done. <laughs> 